What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from The Quartering, and I'm going to go over a little bit of the uh, backlash to this. From what we know now, uh, several police officers have now been fired, allegedly, for disseminating information that, well, the entire world probably had a right to know, at least anybody with any type of students in, uh, in schools, all over just two or three pages out of. Now, I want to start off by saying this is everything that's actually out there, okay? <clears throat> excuse my throat, uh, very under the weather today, could use a like on the video, and above, uh, if you uh, haven't yet, please do fo subscribe or follow down below. It's immensely, immensely important, as we saw yesterday. Essentially, uh, any videos covering this were suppressed. Um, Steven Crowder got a, uh, the video outright removed. I don't know why he did and no one else did. I'm not going to poke at it. Perhaps they'll come for mine at some point, but... This is just a few hours after the incident, okay? Um, they were able to execute a warrant. This is what they took. Up to 20 journals, a final letter, right? The goodbye letter, which we don't know. Psych medical eval folder, three home videos, multiple MacBook Pros, multiple hard drives, and more. In fact, there were four pages worth of inventory of things that they've took, and we've seen practically none of it. The public deserves to see it all. You can see on this listing here, you know, they took some, you know, Mossberg, seven journals, another journal, 11 home videos, a bag with targets, a note, new song, notepad with passwords, journals, a goodbye letter, um, you know, passwords on sticky notes, folders, two Honda key fobs. I don't really care about that. Um, you know, again, you're talking about innumerable, over 30 items, I guess, here. Well, not even total, 30 unique items with many in multiples. In fact, check that, 45 up to 47 different items. Now, some of these things aren't exactly useful. A resume, don't really care about that. You know, a laptop and charger, okay, maybe, you know, something's on there. I don't know. You know, the other usual stuff like, you know, ammo and stuff like that. I mean, there's not much to say about that. Um, but the fact that there were 20 journals, a goodbye note, plus also we saw yesterday um, in the piece of information that was shared out there that uh, there was a final goodbye video, or at least a plan for one. We don't know if there was one actually recorded. I suspect given the level of detail and follow through that this individual had, they probably did record it. And that is out there, allegedly happening just moments before the incident. Then the cover-up began this morning from Candace Owens. Breaking, I just got word that two officers are due to be fired over the release of these pages. Allegedly, the documents were sold by one of the officers. Now, here's the thing. We only know of one news outlet that has it right now. And quite frankly, we can just listen to Stephen Crowder's response to the accusation that he paid for it. All right, yep. just got word. Two officers are due to be fired over the release of this page. As allegedly, the documents were sold by one of... Oh, boy. I don't, uh, I don't know that that is true. <laughs> what, 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 it says they're due to be fired over this, so they haven't been officially fired. Well, what I do find funny there is like, I wanted to wait to verify the authenticity because I didn't feel like it represented it accurately. But I'm going to release that two people are due to likely be fired at because some somebody point. somebody sold the documents? This is now. the problem with... Clicks for it now. Oh, they're trying to say someone sold the documents? Uh, pull that back up. That's what it, P Pull so it back up. I need someone... To, guys, right. I can't look because I'm due looking at Due to be fired over the release of the pages. Allegedly, the documents were sold by one of the officers. Okay, so here's what I can say. I don't know where Cand Candace is getting this information. Um, no one sold us anything. No. We did not purchase anything. And I... I Isn't that interesting? It almost seems like a smear. Right? Like, what exactly, um, you know, what exactly is going on here, right? They found the two alleged officers within apparently hours of the event, then say they're due to be fired, then say that they sold the documents. Well, Steven Crowder is on the record saying he did not pay for it. If they sold the documents to literally anyone else, why haven't they been released? Now, to be fair, you shouldn't be selling evidence. And if that is true, then I would assume that is a fireable offense. In any other case, except for this one, I would believe that that would be the correct action, the correct behavior. 
But I have a huge specter of doubt around this one, around if they actually did this. Because apparently law enforcement had no idea about who sold this stuff or how this information got out there. In fact, the mayor of Nashville, instead of worrying about, you know, the obvious political motivations that were in the document, went on to immediately launch an investigation into who made them available to the public. They're mad that they're available to the public because they go against the message. Well, this is somebody who was spreading the message, so to speak. And this isn't the first individual who did this. People forget all about uh, several of these other lunatics that, uh, you know, kind of just disappear from the headlines when they find out that they're leftists or they find out they're not um, white cis men who hate women. Those are the only things that actually get headlines. But, you know, the overarching narrative is that these are the only people that do this. That's quite the contrary. We had non-binary. Um, we had um, a black man in Waukesha. We had, uh, I mean, we didn't, it's very diverse. Mental health doesn't really care about your race that much. I would tend to say that. So if they're, if they're firing two current police officers for selling documents, they're screwing up. And they're going to be opening themselves up to liability. But hey, you know what? We called ourselves to the mat yesterday and said these are our predictions. Candace, now obviously I do appreciate her staking her reputation on the line. And uh, if it turns out that two police officers are fired because they sold these pages to someone else, I can tell you that we never purchased anything, then my hat's off to her for staking because, because her reputation will be staked on that. Yep. And I think that, yeah, sure, if you are selling evidence to the press... By the way, this is something that happens all the time. Um, that should be a fireable offense. Uh, the only reason they care now, though, is because it's one of them, one of their people, right? She continues, yesterday I wanted to wait to report on the release pages because while it was a major break, I felt the documents were incomplete, did not paint an accurate picture of what transpired. I mean, it was literally a minute-by-minute -minute plan. I think it was pretty accurate. Um, but does Candace's right to do that, of course. Um you know, and I'm glad I waited. I'm not really sure why. It's not like we've got any additional context. What's interesting is a lot of people came out to run interference. One individual who blocked me, some MSM shill, said, oh, no, no. Um, people that have seen the documents said that um, they hated everyone equally or something like that. Um, okay, well, then release it. Okay, so all these people in the press apparently know what's in the documents, enough to discredit what Crowder released, but... They're not going to release anything. They're not telling us anything about it. So I'm, you know, quite frankly, I don't care what they have to say. You know, credit where credit is due. The only, this is only happening because the Crowder team reopened the conversation in a major way by releasing the initial three pages. It was great work. Stay tuned. I mean, I understand, you know, the public having a right to know. But if they were exchanging evidence for cash, okay, fine. I don't believe that, you know. I don't believe that that's what happened. I think that they took found some fall guys, um, you know, things of that nature. Something. She then quote tweets someone said, "I think the question would be why was it not released and what were the motives behind keeping it hidden?" I think we know. Uh, we're all in agreement. Cops did the right thing here. It's absurdity that this was kept from the public. James Woods chimes in and says, "Stephen Crowder has done Americans a service not just because he has published these writings." But more importantly, he has exposed the stranglehold that Google, surprise, surprise, has on the truth. YouTube censorship of conservative voices has now rendered it as worthless as Facebook. Oh, and of course, one does wonder why our own government hides information from us as well as, as well based on personal politics. And this is in a response to, of course, Stephen Crowder pointing out that YouTube has removed his video um, talking about this document's and what's interesting to me is that I'm not exactly sure what policy that could have violated. Um, I can see basically everybody else who talked about it is completely fine. So it sure seems like Steven Crowder is the one that's getting targeted here. Now, this isn't an invitation for YouTube to take mine down. But, you know, that's why I also publish my videos to Rumble. And now you can also see moments afterwards. Of course, breaking Google and Meta have banned sharing the release of these documents on top of, you know, developing Nashville mayor launches investigation into the leak. Apparently, they figured out exactly who it was within just moments. I mean, a few hours, they figured out exactly who it was. I don't buy that. 
maybe it's true. Sometimes unbelievable things happen. I mean, this whole scenario is, this whole situation is essentially an unbelievable scenario. Sometimes unbelievable things happen, <clears throat> but I don't buy it. You know, and then you have, you know, the Nashville PD responding in a particularly annoying way. They're actually treating the dissemination of this information as the real crime. Like the, the real issue is that, that they came out, MNPD is a communication with the Metropolitan Department of Law's investigation has begun this morning, continues into the dissemination of three photographs of writings during an online discussion about what happened. The photographs are not their own seen images, saying essentially they didn't have any of these pictures in their files. The PD has been in contact with a representative of the families. Um, the police department counters are available to assist them in coping. Well, allow me to point this out here. Okay. What happened that day is terrible. I can't imagine what it would be like to be a parent of a child who went through, uh, who, who, you know, obviously was affected by this in any way, shape, or form. I, I don't think anybody could really uh, understand what that's probably like. That said, it's the police, the police's fault that they're being re traumatized by this. It's not Steven Crowder's. It's not, you know, Fox News for covering it. It's their fault. If they hadn't hidden this and they had released it all essentially, you know, when, you know, within a, you know, reasonable time, maybe a couple of days or even a week or something to, after the scrub everything, this would have already been in the rearview mirror for them. Instead, now because they were trying to cover for this individual, now it is getting resurfaced. Just probably just as these parents' lives were, you know, getting back to some semblance of normal, um, I'm sure it will never be the same. It is the police department's actions, the law enforcement's actions to suppress this data that is the reason these parents are being re-victimized. Not because Steven Crowder covered a couple of leaks. In fact, at this point, every day that they're not just outright releasing it, uh, they should be, um, you know, it's another day that is going to make this carry on. So the best thing they can do now is just release everything. No amount of suppression from Google, even, even X and Twitter were marking some of this stuff as sensitive. No amount of suppression by big tech is going to make the story go away now because it's in the mainstream media. It's on places like Rumble. I mean, Crowder had 200,000 people watching him live yesterday. If you include everybody who covered it, you're, t you're in the millions. Um, this is a major, major story because of the censorship now. And this is, a, uh, this is of their own making. They chose to try and cover one of their own, and they're the ones to blame. I will not accept anybody blaming Crowder for putting this out, or even the police for leaking it, because this stuff, this stuff should be out there. Uh, we'll have to wait and see if they really did, because according to Crowder, they didn't. It'll be interesting to follow the story if you are appreciating the coverage Please do leave a like on the video, and if you haven't yet, subscribe or follow down below. We'll talk to you again real soon.